computer works. On this video, we're going to have computer hardware and software components. First, what is a computer hardware? Hardware consists of physical components of a computer, also referred as the equipments of the computer. So, pag sinabi natin hardware component ng isang computer, these are the physical components ng computer or ito yung mga nahawakan at nakikita ng user. For the hardware components, meron po siyang input devices, just like keyboard, mouse, and other input devices. Then, we have the memory or the storage devices. Meron din siyang output devices like monitor, printer, and other devices. And processing devices. These different devices will be discussed dito din sa video na ito, kaya tapos niyo. Input devices. These are devices that allows the user to input data into a computer or interact with the computer. So, pag sinabi natin input device, ito yung ginagamit ng user para maglagay ng data dun sa computer or para magamit niya yung computer. Example of input device is the keyboard. Pinaka main na ginagamit niya ni user. And it is used to type letters, numbers, and other symbols as well as functions. The next, we have the mouse. The mouse is a hand-operated input device used to manipulate objects on the computer screen. So, ginagamit natin yung mouse para mag-click ng mga image or logos or applications dun sa computer natin. The next, we have the scanner. It is a device that optically scan image, printed text, handwriting, or other objects, and convert it into digital image. Ginagamit natin to para i-convert yung isang hard copy, just like picture or documents, into a digital image. So, we have different types of scanner. We have the flat padded scanner. Where the document is placed on a glass window for scanning. So, ito yung pinaka-default na ginagamit natin na scanner. The next, we have the handheld scanner. Where the device is moved by the hand. So, an example of this is this scanner. And another example of handheld scanner, yung pinaka-gamit na ngayon nowadays is your cell phone. Diba, ginagamit natin yung cell phone natin para mag-picture ng mga documents lalo lalo na sa mga estudyante na ayaw mag mangopya sa board diba? papicture mo naman yung ganong style ng mga students nowadays then next we have the 3D scanner used for industrial design reverse engineering test and measurement and other applications so an example of 3D scanner is ito Ginagamit yan sa mga industries para mag-replicate o gumawa pa ng ibang product similar with dun sa item na ini-scan nila. The next, we have the memory or storage devices. A hardware device that allows you to store data for later use. Some of the most popular storage devices are hard disk or yung HDD and the solid state drives or yung SSD. There are two types of storage devices. Meron tayong tinatawag na primary storage device or yung pinaka-common is the RAM and the secondary storage device like hard drive and other removable and external storage devices. First, discuss natin kung ano nga ba yung primary storage. A primary storage device is a medium that holds memory for short period of time. So, yung primary storage device, guys, is a device or a memory storage by computer na nagagamit lang kapag si computer is nagraran. So, temporary storage area siya. So, kapag na-off si computer, mawawala yung mga naka-store dun why it is volatile and non-removable. Nakalagay na siya dun sa computer. An example of primary storage device, we have the RAM or Random Access Memory. 
refers to a fast temporary form of storage. So, andyan yung word na fast and temporary. Kasi nga, kapag na-off yung computer, let's say, nag-shutdown ka, lahat nung naka-store kay RAM, mawawala. All data and instructions that are currently being executed is stored kay RAM. The next, we have the secondary storage. Alternatively referred to as external memory. So, yung secondary storage, tinatawag din siyang external memory. A secondary storage device is non-volatile device that hold data until it is deleted or overridden. Ibig sabihin, kahit mag-shutdown yung computer mo, andun pa rin yung naka-store na data. An example of secondary storage, we have the read-only memory or the ROM. Permanently store data on a personal computer. Contains the program needed to start a PC which is essential for boot. So, ang laman ni ROM guys is the program na kailangan ng computer para mag-boot. The next, we have the hard drive or the HDD. It is an example of secondary storage device. Hard disk is an electromechanical device that use magnetic storage to store and retrieve data information. The next, yung pinaka-common sa atin, yung pinaka-handheld dala-dala natin na storage device, we have the flash drive. It is a data storage device that includes a flash memory with an integrated USB interface processing devices. These are part of the computer that are responsible for processing and converting data into meaningful information. So, processing devices, they are the one who process and convert data into information. They are the one who receives data from the RAM, performs set of instructions, returns the process data into the RAM. So, yun yung trabaho ni processing devices. First processing devices that we have is the CPU or the Central Processing Unit. Okay guys, ganyan po yung image ng CPU, hindi po yung box na nakikita nyo. Okay? Maliit lang po yung CPU natin. It is responsible for processing general instructions. CPU is used to collect, decode, and execute instructions as required by the application. So, from the word Central Processing Unit, siya po yung pinaka-center ng processing. So, ibig sabihin ng trabaho ni CPU is to process all instructions na binibigay sa kanya ng application, Graphic Processing Unit, or the GPU. Responsible for processing the instructions that create the pictures on your screen. So, yung GPU naman, guys, siya naman po yung responsible for processing instructions para makagawa ng images dun sa screen. Basic example of GPU is the video card. It is a piece of hardware inside your computer that deals with processing image and videos along with some tasks normally handled by the CPU. Then we have the output devices. These are devices that return the computer's instruction as a result to the user. The popular output device includes the monitor and the printer. So, ito yung mga commonly used output device. Number one, the monitor. The next, meron tayong projector. Pwede din yung speaker, an example of output device. Pwede din yung headphone or earphone we have the printer. Doon naman tayo kay software part ng computer. If we say software, it refers to the set of instructions a computer uses to complete any instructed task. So, pag sinabi natin software, guys, these are list of instructions para kay computer. Software is a program that is operated by the hardware. The two most important type of a software or system software, it includes your operating system and the application software. 
Doon muna tayo kay system software. System software is the specific type of instruction or software that manage the flow of data and information contained on the computer. The operating system is the most important type of system software. So these are types of system software na meron sa isang computer. First, we have the operating system, then the communication software, the programming language translators, and the utility programs. Operating system helps you for effective utilization of all hardware and software components of the computer system. So without an operating system, hindi gumagana ang isang computer kasi wala siyang instruction na sinasabing pwede mo nang gamitin yung computer. The next, we have the programming language translator. Transform the instruction prepared by developers in a program language into a form that can be interpreted or compiled and executed by a computer system. So, yung programming language translator naman guys, siya po yung nagtra-translate ng mga programs na ginawa ng isang programmer para po makompile at maran mo dun sa system or sa computer mo. The next, we have the communication software. Allows us to transfer data and programs from one computer to another. From the word communication and software, this is a software na ginagamit para mag-communicate yung dalawa or maraming computers. The next, we have the utility program. Our sets of program that are used in system maintenance tasks and performing tasks for routine nature. From the word utility program, these are softwares or program used for maintenance tasks or para mas maganda yung paggamit natin dun sa computer. The next, we have the application software. Application software is a program that is built for a specific purpose. Ang application software naman guys, meron lang siyang specific purpose na kaya niyang gawin. These types of software includes media players, spreadsheets, and word processors. Okay, so these are some of the types ng application software na meron tayo nowadays. Number one, we have the word processing software. It makes use of computer for creating, modifying, viewing, storing, retrieving, and printing documents. So from the word word processing software, ito yung ginagamit natin para ma-process yung mga documents. A basic example of this is the Microsoft Word. The next, we have the spreadsheet software. It's a numeric data analysis tool that allows you to create a computerized ledger. A basic example naman nito is the Microsoft Excel. Then we have the database software. Collections of relative data that is stored and retrieved according to user demand. A basic example of this is the Microsoft Access. Then next we have the graphic software. Allows the computer system for creating, drawing, graphics, and others. So ano ba yung ginagamit nyo para mag-edit ng mga pictures nyo? We have the Photoshop. Kung walang Photoshop yung computer mo, meron din naman no Paint. And on your cellphone, madami na tayong ginagamit ng graphic software para mapaganda or ma-edit yung mga pictures. Education software. Allows a computer to be used as learning and teaching tool. So nowadays, usong-uso yung online class. Ano nga ba yung mga ginagamit nyo para mag-online class? An example of that, we have the Google Classroom. So guys, kindly comment down below kung ano naman yung mga ibang alam nyo pa na education software or yung ginagamit nyo nowadays na education software. The next, we have the entertainment software. This type of application allows a computer to use as an entertainment tool. So from the word entertainment software, ginagamit siya para ma-entertain ka. An example of that, we have the media player para makanood ka. The next, we also have the games. Yung mga ni-install natin na games. Those are examples of 
entertainment, software. So dahil na-discuss naman na natin dito yung memory and operating system, sa so tingin nyo guys, what memory naka-store or naka-reside si operating system? Kung alam nyo yung sagot, i-comment nyo lang dyan sa baba. Para sa mga katanungan, just comment down below at sasagutan natin yan isa-isa. Kung nagustuhan tong video na to, smash that like button and of course, subscribe for more tutorial videos. Before this video ends, gusto ko lang pong mag sa mga BSIT second year students ng CSU. Hi guys!